Hello guys, Nick here with Phone Arena and we just had the chance to personally experience LG's newest high-end smartphone, the LG G3. Long story short, the phone is great and really has a lot to offer, including a gorgeous screen, powerful hardware and a refreshed user interface with plenty of built-in features. However, is the LG G3 a worthy alternative to the widely popular iPhone 5S? At a glance, there isn't much that the LG G3 and the iPhone 5S have in common. LG's new flagship is a smartphone of considerable size, making Apple's handset seem tiny when stacked up against it. As expected, the G3 is also the heavier one of the two. LG has chosen to stick with plastic for the construction of the G3, and the result is definitely not bad. The back side of the device has been treated to a brushed metallic finish with a hint of premium feel to it. Apple's iPhone 5S, in contrast, is smaller than the G3, which makes it infinitely easier to operate single-handedly. It is also easier to fit in the side pocket of a pair of jeans. When it comes to design, the 5S is no less good-looking of a smartphone and many may like its metal construction better. The phone feels solid and has been crafted with utmost attention to detail. We have to point out that the power and volume buttons on the LG G3 have been placed on its back side where the user's index finger should be able to reach them. Some will be okay with the solution, others might not like it as much. Virtual on-screen buttons are used for navigating through the Android interface. Meanwhile, the Apple iPhone 5S has an excellent set of physical buttons, a power key on top, volume and mute buttons on the left side and a home key underneath the screen, doubling as a fingerprint scanner. LG has equipped the G3 smartphone with an outstanding 5.5-inch LCD display its QHD resolution is what blows our mind. 1440 by 2560 pixels produce a record-breaking PPI figure of 538 pixels per inch. To no surprise, the display delivers excellent details in graphics and text. The iPhone 5S comes with a considerably smaller 4-inch display and its resolution is 640 by 1136 pixels. It may be less pixel dense, but it still looks great with its accurate colors and wide viewing angles. When the two screens are viewed from a normal distance, it is hard to notice any significant difference in detail reproduction. The LG G3 will ship with Android 4.4 KitKat. Being an Android device, the G3 is very flexible when it comes to customization and, as a matter of fact, it runs a custom user interface developed and preloaded by LG. The UI is clean, elegant and very pleasant to look at. Some of the features thrown in include an intelligent keyboard that adapts to your typing habits over time, a virtual assistant providing smart notifications, and a variety of options for securing the user's files from prying eyes. For a true multitasking experience, LG is enabling us to use two apps side by side. On the iPhone 5S we find Apple's own platform, iOS 7.1. Fundamentally, it is built to be as simple and intuitive as possible, which is why many people prefer it over Android. iOS is also acclaimed for its rich selection of quality applications. With the iPhone 5S, you have a fingerprint scanner at your disposal and you can use it as a reliable replacement for your lock screen PIN or iTunes password. Siri in iOS is your personal voice-guided assistant. You can ask her to call or text a contact, to search the internet, to give you directions or to tell you how your favorite team's football game ended up last night. It is great to know that LG has picked Qualcomm's fastest system on chip for the G3. Inside it ticks a Snapdragon 801 with a maximum clock speed of 2.5 GHz. And with up to 3 GB of RAM, the LG should be able to handle multitasking with ease. The iPhone 5S may seem inferior on paper. It sports an Apple-designed A7 system on chip with a dual-core 64-bit processor, 1.3 GHz CPU clock speed and 1 GB of RAM. But in reality, the iPhone's smooth performance rivals that of any other flagship. Software and hardware work together to deliver a top-notch, lag-free user experience. The LG G3 comes with at least 16 GB of onboard storage and if that's not enough, you are free to add a microSD card. The iPhone 5S, however, does not offer any expandable storage options, so if you don't find 16GB sufficient, you will have to spend extra cash on a model with 32 or 64GB of storage. We are pretty excited about the 13MP camera on the LG G3. It has optical image stabilization for blur-free images, 
a two-tone LED flash for improved color accuracy and a laser beam for fast and accurate autofocusing. We were able to take a few photos with the LG G3 and the results did not disappoint. On the iPhone 5S, we find an 8 megapixel camera with software image stabilization and a two-tone LED flash similar to the one on the G3. Knowing how good of a camera this is, we are pretty sure that the iPhone 5S will turn out to be almost as good of a shooter as the LG G3. While both the LG G3 and the iPhone 5S belong to the high-end smartphone category, there's quite a lot that sets them apart. The LG G3 is surely going to attract attention with its gorgeous QHD display and impressive list of specifications. Plus, we are satisfied with what LG has done with the design of its flagship. As for the iPhone 5S, it's a device recommended to those in need of a no-hassle smartphone. Sure, specs may suggest that Apple's smartphone is weak by today's standards, but in reality its performance is commendable. The compact four-factor of the iPhone may also count as an advantage. All in all, those in need of a pocket-friendly smartphone that is easy to use should take a look at the iPhone 5S. The LG G3, however, is the one more suitable for buyers demanding the very latest in technology. Thank you for watching our early comparison between the LG G3 and the iPhone 5S. For more details, just check out our website, phonearena.com.